Let's see, there's a few treasure chests that I'm missing. It looks like. Oh, you know what? Before I progress through... Yeah. Or, hold up. No, never mind. Never mind. I, I'll be making my way back around, so... Let's just go here. That's where I came from. Okay, so I go up. And... Where's this gonna take me? Well, I got the small key so I can progress through. Oh, hello. Watch for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. Uh, thank you. For that, I guess. Okay, let's just climb up these ladders. And this hallway is not twisted. Also, green bubble. Okay, let's, um, do that. Oh, I'm missing the key here. Okay, so we need to backtrack anyways. Okay. This is the part where I get confused, because... Yeah. But... There are a few places with treasure chests that we could do things in. And I don't know why I like backflipping like that. I don't know, I just think it's fun. Okay, so... Over here... Let's just go up, because the next room has a treasure chest that we saw, which we can actually do something about. Okay, let's go here. Go through the twisted hallway. Oh, you know what? While I'm here, what I want to do... Leave me alone. Okay, so right over in this room... Do I want to go another floor down? I think so. There was... This switch. It's an optional one, but... Wait, is it optional? It might be. Yeah, it's optional. But, arrows. That's a thing. Okay. So now what we want to do... Is climb back up... And right before the entrance of the twisty corridor is a switch for us to hit with our arrow. Okay, then climbing. Really? I was going to see if I could hit it from here. You are rude. Okay, let's see if I can hit this from here. Haha! -ha! And that untwist the corridor. Pretty cool. It's a neat little thing. And now that this corridor is all untwisted, we can actually grab this. This special looking treasure chest has a boss key. The name of this key usually differs between Zelda games. Sometimes they're called like the boss key or the big key, but with this, we can open up the door to where the boss is. We'll be seeing these in all of the Adult Link dungeons. So, yay. Anyways, drop down this hole. Oh, hello. Okay, I wonder how many arrows? How many arrows? Okay, never mind. I'm wasting my arrows. Okay, just drop down here. Okay, I'm going to... First off, fight you. There you go. But, right over here, I want to angle this right. There is another gold sculptula for us. So, yay. And I, I don't want to fall because then I'll have to do all of this over. But um, let's go on over to this room. This here, it's not a wall master, but it's a floor master. If we hit it, oh, don't punch me in the face. Also, these hands are 
creepy. They're like all like disembodied hands that are like fleshy and scabby. Gross. Anyways, if we hit it and defeat it, it actually splits into tiny floor masters. We need to defeat all of these before they form the big hand again. I think that's how they work. I don't know. But that's also one of those situations where a spin attack could actually come in handy. Can do that. I believe this is also gonna drop a small key. Yeah. Okay, so now this is gonna take us back to uh this area right here. With the block pushing stuff. So let's just climb back up. We're gonna need to twist that corridor again. But that's fine. Come on, climb up. And now that we have that key, we can actually make some more progress. We can go back to where we were before. Okay, climb up there. And... Boom. Okay, now... Let's try to hit it from here. Boom. Somehow hitting you in the eye while your clothes makes you open it? I don't know. Do you think those eye switches feel anything when they get hit? Hmm. Food for thought. Well, you know what? Let, let's just pretend they're not, like, sentient. Because it'll make me feel better. Do that. Yeah, I guess backflipping just... Kind of makes it easier to maneuver around sometimes. Saves you the trouble of walking, like, down some steps, at least. Okay, so now... Let's do this. Go back here. Yes, Navi. I... I know about the shadows or whatever. Okay, green bubble. Oh, you die in one hit to the sword. Why wasn't I fighting these first? What do you have to say? No, I'm not having trouble with anything. I did get lost a little bit there. But, um, anyways, this is a really cool puzzle here. So this, this switch is encased in ice. Can't do anything about that, but... If we wait for this platform to move over to where this torch is, right over here, line it up, or you could just miss. But yeah, that'll cause your arrow to light on fire and melt the ice. You just need to aim it right, which I did not do because I am bad. Okay, so let's try that again. There you go. And you don't actually need to hit the switch, you just need to melt the ice. Cause then it'll, like the game will think that you aimed it good enough to to hit the switch anyways. Like you could just, like a trick you could actually use is like just use Din's fire. Cause that melts the ice as well, so. Food for thought. Anyways, go back here into the now twisted corridor and jump down into this hole okay there's some treasure chests here also can i hit these yes i can get rid of those before they get in my way okay yeah watch out for the ceiling it'll fall down on you Luckily, like, there are some holes, so you don't need to worry about that. Okay, let's just do this. Grab this treasure chest. Am I on the wrong side? I think I am. Yeah. Okay, what's in here? Arrows! Okay, I'll take them. 
Okay, so now over here. Okay, grab those. Oops, arrows. We have another post sister here, but this one is different. There's gonna be a puzzle here. What we need to do is just move these blocks before time runs out. I think if you fail this, you can just do it over, but it like makes the puzzle easier for you. I don't know, but you need to make the same picture that's on the portrait up there. So there's gonna be one block that's just left out, but whatever. Oh, I think I pushed that one a bit. Yeah. I'm gonna need to move it over to the right. Okay, let's do that. You're given plenty of time for this, so you don't need to worry. I mean, it is possible to screw it up, but eh. Okay, now push you in and complete it. Hello, you are Amy. I don't know if the names of these post sisters are supposed to reference anything, but they have names. Okay, this is gonna take some time just because it takes either five hits with either the sword or your arrows, so yeah. I wonder actually. Um Will Will the hook shot actually do anything? Yes, it does damage. Okay, then. Well... This is so time-consuming. There you go. And... That's the third flame. We're actually... Getting pretty close to finishing this dungeon, now that I think about it. Hello, you. Also, arrows can kill Sculptulus, but I prefer to use the hookshot just because it's not wasting anything. Okay, anyways, now we're back in the hub room. And we see that the last post sister is mourning for her three other sisters. So now, we have a fight against, uh, name. This is Meg. She splits into multiple images. Three of them are fake, and there's one real one. So what you want to do is just wait for the real one to spin. Have your camera positioned in the way so you can at least see three of them. Where are you? There you are. Oh, come on. I could have gotten you. Let's try that again. You know, this would actually be a case where, like, oh, hello. Using the arrows would be really good because you can shoot your arrows faster than you can draw your sword. Okay, there. No. You're the right one. Yeah, she'll spin, like, the moment all four appear. Okay, perfect. We don't need any of your shadow clones here. Boom. Yeah, sometimes, like, the whole L-targeting slash Z-targeting thing can be really finicky, just because there's multiple targets here. Nope. There. That's all four of the Poe sisters defeated. And we can ride the elevator again. Let's, let's do so. We have pretty much everything. But, um, yeah, so now we have a bit of a puzzle here. As you can see, the boss is just... Just right over here. But what we need to do is... Grab this. Push it. Okay, so... Is that gonna reveal anything? No? There's a switch here. Okay, that's good. Let's push this again. Also, I believe there's a gold sculpture here as well. Also, I like this little detail of how you can see like the, the marks on the floor from pushing this thing. Is this where the gold sculpture is? No? Well, 
there's a switch here. Okay then. Let's push this again. Hello you. And hello you. Okay, so let's open this up. Arrows. Perfect. And I just want to make sure. Okay, yes, I did get all the gold sculptures here. So, yeah. All that's left to do is just fight the boss of the dungeon. Let's just push this one more time. And now... No? Okay, let me push this switch then. There we go. And now that we have everything... Just, again, one more check. Okay, yeah, no more treasure chests. All the gold sculpture is here. We're good. We're good to go. Time to fight the boss. This here is the evil spirit from beyond, Phantom Ganon. So, Phantom Ganon. He is going to go into one of these portraits here. We're going to need to find the real one. Okay. Are you the real one that's going to emerge? Yes, you are. I missed. I missed. And then I got hurt. But yeah. There's going to be a fake one and a real one here in these portraits. That's the fake one. That's the real one. No! And then with the arrow. Yeah, it, it's kind of hard to distinguish which one is the real one or the fake one. I believe it's like from where they're positioned. Like in the portrait, like this one's in the middle, so I think that's the real one. Yes! So just him with your arrow right before he emerges. And... Where are you now? That's the fake one, I think. You're the real one? Okay, now he's done playing around. He's an evil ghost of the Force Temple. He came out of one of the pictures and threw his magic attack with an attack of your own. So now, what he's going to do is send his magic at you. So you have to hit it back, and that's going to stun him enough for you to hit him. Do that. Oh, come on. The camera angle here can get really finicky because, like, these rails will get in the way. Okay, perfect. I should have used a jump attack there, but whatever. Oh, come on. I mean, it is... Like, the camera angle makes this look really cool and whatnot, but it does get in the way sometimes. Oh. You're hitting it back at me now. Come on. And jump attack! Jump attack! Okay, a couple more rounds of this and he should be good to go. I wonder, can you like hit him with your arrow while he's about to like fire his magic attack at you? Good for thought. And jump attack! Oh. Keep on going! Oh, crap. Let's try this. No! I wanted to, like, hit you. No, it doesn't work. Oh, and I somehow managed to, like, hit his magic attack back at him. Okay, and jump attack. Hey, kid. You did quite well. Looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. You've defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. 
or the worthless creation that ghost was. I'll banish it to the gap between dimensions. And just like with every other boss, we get a heart container. Which puts our life total at 12 hearts. Neat. Anyways, let's go in. Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Saria, the sage of the forest temple. I always believed that you would come, because I know you. No, you don't have to explain it to me, because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. I will stay here as the forest sage and help you. Now please, take this medallion. the forest medallion from Saria, and she's now an awakened sage. I will always be your friend. Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Because you and Saria broke the curse on the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them, none of them, none of them recognize you with your grown up body, did they? That's because the Kokiri never grow up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. You must be wondering why you only have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you're not a Kokiri. You're actually a Hylian. I'm happy to finally reveal this secret to you. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there is a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust a child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. The Deku Tree could sense that this was a child of destiny whose fate would affect the entire world, so he took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kokiri. And now finally, the day of destiny has come. The text crawls by really fast. You're a Hylian and we're always bound to leave this forest. And now, you've learned your own destiny. So you know what you must do. That's right. You must save the land of Hyrule. Now Link, break the curses on all the temples and return peace to Hyrule. Hey. It was a surprise to learn that Sari is one of the sages, wasn't it, Link? I wonder how Sheik knew. Anyway, off to the Temple of Time. Do you say anything else? No? Okay. Anyways, the only way I can see that this Sprout knew all of that is because he inherited the memories of the Great Deku Tree somehow. Also, we can't enter the Great Deku Tree as, a, as an adult, so yeah. Can't go through that dungeon anymore, at least as an adult. But um, yeah, anyways, with that done... 
we helped Sharya awaken as a sage, and now we know that we need to do the same to the other sages and free the other temples from their curses or whatever. But uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, we're going to be doing some side questing, so um, yay! See y'all later for that. That's not how my outro goes. Oh well. <laughs>